You want to start and complete a task and simply fail to do so as you are distracted by something else. In this video, we look at ways to help you stop procrastinating when you need to focus on completing a task. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Wyatt Simpkins, who has a great channel that both inspires and provides great advice on getting the most out of life. Wyatt has done a complimentary video on his channel, which covers further points to help avoid procrastination. So if you want to make sure you get all of the best advice to stay focused, head on over there and check out his video. A link to both Wyatt's channel and the video will be in the description below. And with that said, let's get into procrastination, which is when you delay or postpone an action which you need to do, usually because you've been distracted by something else. We all know how easy that is in today's world, and with the net, attention levels are at their lowest. Think of it this way, you have an assignment you need to do, it has to be completed by the morning, but you've barely started and you set yourself down to get your head down and work. As you're working, you have to look up something on the browser, and there it is, the dreaded notification of the latest HFL video, and you can't stop yourself. You have to watch. Stop there. Don't watch the video, do the assignment, and then watch in satisfaction, knowing you've done what you needed to first. Now, at this point, you might be saying, joke's on you, I'm not a subscriber. In which case, let me just say, you might want to reconsider to get the latest and best content and hit the notification bells to ensure you're notified when the latest videos come out. Okay, getting back to stopping yourself watching the video straight away to focus on the task at hand. It sounds great, but how do you actually do this? Well, let's get into it. First things first, you have to make sure to do a to-do list. It's so simple, but it is incredibly powerful doing so. Why so? Well first, if you make a to-do list every evening before you go to bed for the tasks you need to do the next day, you immediately organise the day to be a success. Your to-do list will help you structure your day to get results, but also give you an opportunity to prioritise tasks. Now, doing this has a couple of benefits. The first is that by assigning your priorities to your to-do list, you give yourself a great chance to not only review what's important to you, but also ensure you focus on the tasks that are most pressing the next day. Ideally, high priority tasks should be completed early, when you are at your most alert and active. Here's the other strength of making a to-do list. You can allocate how long you think you need to complete each task. By setting yourself time limits and deadlines, your mind will automatically focus as you know when you need to complete your task by. A quick tip on this though, try to organise timeframes with little contingency planned in. You might not need it, but you never know when you might hit delays. Finally, have a written to-do list where you can cross off each item as you complete them. Why? The action of crossing off items gives a small dopamine boost, instantly giving you a greater sense of satisfaction and achievement. Make a list for each day of all the goals, the little goals you're going to accomplish that day. Keep a journal and write down your goals on a regular basis. When you're driving through the day, think about your goals. When you're talking to other people, think about your goals. You see, you do become what you think about most of the time. You do achieve what you think about most of the time, so all successful people and all wealthy people think about their goals most of the time. And that leads to the next point to help with procrastination, which is to give yourself little rewards on completing a task. Celebrate the little wins as doing so will help you stay motivated to continue plowing through your list of tasks. Completed a task? Treat yourself to a sweet or a hot drink. Completed all of the key items for the day? How about a 30 minute session of gaming or watching an episode of your favourite TV show? You see, by having the little rewards, you change associations to what you might have perceived as a chore to being a positive. By satiating your reward system, you can acutely develop your discipline to ensure you complete tasks. As an example, someone I know doesn't go to the bathroom until completing a task. The discomfort of not going actually motivates them to complete the task more quickly, but the sense of relief when actually going is rewarding. Now, I don't specifically suggest you do this for multiple reasons, but you can understand how the principle works. 
On the flip side, you can give yourself minor punishments if you find yourself procrastinating. For example, that 30 minutes gaming session you hoped for is no longer allowed if you fail to do your tasks. The third way to help you manage procrastination is to break down your tasks into smaller chunks. Part of the reason why many people procrastinate to begin with is because they feel overwhelmed by the task that they need to complete and feel demotivated in getting started. For example, if you've ever watched the TV show Man vs Food, where the presenter takes on challenges to eat massive portions of food, you'll find he often breaks down huge portions of food into segments. So if he has to eat a really long sub sandwich, rather than trying to eat the whole sub in one go, he'll cut it up into pieces so he ends up with multiple sandwiches. There's two reasons to do this. Firstly, by breaking up the tasks into chunks, you will feel it significantly more manageable to complete each smaller task that you're focused on. The second is on completing a smaller task, you'll get a small dopamine hit to help keep you motivated and move on to the next task. This is similar to what I mentioned earlier, to crossing off an item on your list. The fourth way to avoid procrastination is to aim to complete a task rather than aiming for perfection. Again, this relates to the point made earlier about setting yourself time limits or deadlines, but by focusing on completing tasks you're more likely to get through to the end efficiently than you would if you kept having to go back and review and change what it is you're working on. Now, this may not apply to some tasks where you need to make sure you reach extremely high standards, for example if you work in a hospital, but in most cases there won't be an expectation of perfection. For example, I upload weekly on this channel and recently I've been responding to some positive comments saying I can improve my videos. It's because even during the creation process I will consistently notice things I can improve. However, I allow my standards in this regard to drop slightly to ensure I'm releasing consistently with my planned schedule. For most people, these aren't glaring or obvious mistakes and if I focus on correcting and changing everything that I wasn't totally satisfied with, I'd probably only release my videos once every few weeks or a month. The fifth way to avoid procrastination is to listen to music, preferably music without lyrics which may distract you. However, be careful with this one. Music can be beneficial to help you complete tasks in certain situations, but not necessarily all. If you work on a task that requires intense focus, then ideally you want to work in silence without distraction, which music might do. However, if your task doesn't require the same level of focus, then playing some music can work to your benefit to help you feel better and more motivated to complete the task. So let's use an example, I work in IT and am frequently involved in doing development or coding work. In those instances where I'm doing something new that requires my full attention to ensure I avoid mistakes, I need to work in silence to concentrate on the task I'm doing. Then of course there are tasks I do frequently and through repetition I've become comfortable doing without needing all of my focus. In these instances having a little background music can help me through menial tasks without succumbing to boredom or ending up distracted. Finally, there's the tasks that require very little focus and can be done without thinking, such as regular admin tasks where I'm comfortable enough doing them competently while listening to something that would normally be distracting, like a podcast or audiobook. The sixth way to avoid procrastination is to make yourself responsible to others. This might seem odd at first, but the reason is we tend to follow through more frequently when we feel obligated to others than we do when we're only responsible to ourselves. The reason is often we fear what judgement might come from others if we don't do what we've committed to. This also works to motivate us, as in those moments when we might lose focus and not follow through, by having someone else with you who can help spur you on in the moment, they can help keep you focused by encouraging you to carry on. This is also why many people will exercise with a friend, because in those moments they feel doubtful about doing exercise, their friend can help motivate them to fulfil their commitment. Finally, the seventh way to avoid procrastination is to build momentum. Do what has been suggested in the previous six points and work towards getting the ball rolling on routinely completing tasks. By doing this, what was previously a challenge for you becomes part of your regular routine and therefore you can act without having to think too much. 
you have to make the start and instill discipline in yourself that by doing so, things will get easier and you will start finding your completing tasks you might not want to without any hesitation. And there you have it, 7 great ways to help you reduce the chances of procrastinating when you need to complete a task. Don't forget to check out Wyatt's channel for the second part of the list to get a complete list of tips and show him some love while there to support his great channel. I don't sleep when I'm tired, I sleep when I'm done. All right? All right? This is beast mode, beast mode. It's not, if you're a gazelle, you might not want to write this down. This could be detrimental to gazelles. This is not a gazelle language. All right, so listen to me again. I don't go to sleep when I'm tired. I go to sleep when I'm done. That's gazelle mode, all right? And when I was talking to that professor, there were some things that I had to do, and I said, I'm going to get it done before I go to Australia, because I'm not gonna come back and have the class closed, and I'm not a man of my word, and I don't finish my PhD until 2015. It's not gonna happen, all right? So we don't sleep when we are tired. We sleep when we are Good. Again, we don't sleep when we're tired, we sleep when we are tired. Right, so to question of the day, when was the last time you procrastinated and why? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button for more content like this.